Hello, my name's Dave, CTO of DVS. Welcome to another how-to video, proudly sponsored by Seagate Technologies. So today we're gonna to take a real quick look at the new GUI 4 firmware, uh, a really, really good feature that's been released on the GUI 4 firmware. So I've installed, as you can see, I've already web browsed into my recorder. I'm on the, an iSeries recorder and that's the latest GUI 4 as of today. So a really, really good feature that's been released in this one, which is why I wanted to do this really quick video today is everyone keeps asking us if you've got a system on site and the customer needs to change the monitor so he wants a different tile layout he wants it to show a specific camera for that specific reason you have to historically either get the customer to do it or go to site to do it now through the power of a web browser you can do it remotely so all you have to do is web browse into the recorder like we have here you'll see there there's a live view settings tab now so if you click on the live view settings tab this presents you with your HDMI VJ outputs on your screen layout. Now it's worth mentioning, if you upgrade to this firmware and you don't get this function, it's worth going into control panel, uninstalling the current web components and clearing your browser cache. Open up the browser, reinstall a web um, component and you will see that there. I've seen a few times where the caching of it or the web component doesn't install properly. So do those two things if you don't see it and then you will see this um, function. So you can see I've got a camera pointing at the screen already. So if I just uh, turn that round, that's our N NVR screen, so it's remote. So you can see when, when we actually make the changes. So currently it's on a f uh, 25 way split, but what I can do is I can choose the HMI uh, VJ screen, HMI, HMI2. This has got two HMIs, two VJs. I can choose the screen layout. So I could say, go to a four way layout. Uh, no switch, so that's the, if it's on a cycle, you know, like a switch delay, so we'll keep it no switch. And we'll choose a four-way layout. We can choose our cameras, so I can say camera one, I can clear these. And put, like, camera one there, camera two there, camera three, camera four, save. Save succeeded, go into live view, and there you have it. So that's um, change to the four-way. If I go back, and make it a 25 way split click save go back into there sorry it's on screen one That's better. So I had custom ones set out in there. So your current live image there is the different screens, like one for 1625, I'd had the wrong one. So I've gone back to screen 25, click save again, and you can see it's on that split. Again, I can go, I got nothing connected. So if I go to a one way split, choose a one way there and choose one, Click save, and then we put no switch five seconds to dwell. So now if we watch this, every five seconds that'll change camera, like it is there, so really good. Go back to this, put it to the screen layout of 25, put it to 25 on there, make sure everything's there, put it back to no switch, click save, and there it's back again. So there, really nice little simple function really really helpful really really powerful and finally we've got that now so it's only for the i series currently on the gui 4 as well um some nice other things in there you've got the online upgrade tool uh, so if you by default is tick for the cut it'll download the current one i'll untick that because i don't want it to upgrade automatically and you've got some um additional uh debugging information that we can start to capture now so if you've got any errors or issues with your equipment we can start the debugging and you've got all your other normal functions within there as it is. So hopefully you'll find that a really powerful function. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe. If I've done this right, Jake will put a subscribe button there. And then if I go there, there should be a bell button, which will notify you when any new content goes live. So keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep liking, keep commenting. Thank you for all your support and feedback you've given us so far. And join us next week for next week's how-to video. Thank you.